Uh, what's up, guys? This is Airsoft Air777, and I well, I'm gonna review some things today. I'm gonna review two. I've been getting multiple messages on this um, on my M4 Echo One M4. I had my red dot sight, and I've been getting multiple messages about um, what that sight is. Um, also, if you comment, so I said I was gonna go ahead and review that along with my grip, which I also have in my M4. Um, let's start off with the grip. This is the Instar tactical grip set. Here's the box, and it's a pretty nice looking box. And when you open it inside, this is what you have. You have this stuff. It's in plasticky wrap. Pull this out. Um, it comes in a little Ziploc tie bag, and if you pull that Ziploc out. You have the grip and some nice bubble wrap. And one of these little things that you're supposed to eat. And here's the grip. Um, you unscrew the bottom. Like that. And pulls this thing down. And just slides onto your rails. Speaking of rails, this also comes with its own custom rail. Yeah, its own custom rail. Along with an Allen wrench, uh, I did not need to put this on because it fit pretty nicely on my rails. I mean, I had to put some force on it, but it fits really good. So I'll go ahead and just go get my M4 just to show you. All right, my M4. Echo on M4 RIS version. You unscrew it, get it loose, and slides on. Screw it back, and it fits good. You probably couldn't see any of that. Unscrew it, pull it off. I'm looking through the camera, so it's kind of hard. Put it back on. And screw it on. It's a bit wobbly because I'm not going to screw it on all the way. But normally you would. That's enough for that. Uh, my second one. This is the site that you saw on my Echo One M4 RES review. Um, by the way, that grip was $12.99. Um, I got it on Airsoft Atlanta because I live in Florida and that's very convenient because if I order for five, I get what I purchased the next day. My second review is the Sure Shot. It's actually called the Sure Shot, but the box says Sure Mark. Either way, it's a reflex sight and it works really good. The box has a picture of it. Got some things written on it. Precision, accuracy, adjustable reticle, brightness, stuff like that. But we don't really care. Opening this up, this is what we have inside. Unfolds like this. Like an origami box. You have your instruction manuals. I don't know why you would need them. You have a cleaning pad thingy. You have two um, Allen wrenches, and of course the reflex side itself. Camera auto adjuster. All right. It comes with the little lens protecting thingy. This thing right here. Um, and the thing itself. The reflex side. Um, it just has brightness settings. Right now it's hang on. There we go. Um, right now it's at zero. If you turn it to the right, it's on one, two, three, four, oops, five, six, seven, zero. So 
Um, so what it looks like on the inside, you have four reticles. You have this little dot one. Turn it on so you can see them. Yeah. There we go. Have this little dot one, and then you just slide this. It's almost like be something you'd see right there. It'd be something like you'd see in a video game or something like that. Push this again, and you just get the standard red dot. And push it one more. You get something like a little circle, two lines out of it, and a dot in the middle. Um, it's a rail, so you just stick it on your rails. Pretty easy. Batteries come in right here. Once again, let the camera adjust. Yeah, you take this top part off right there, and that's where the batteries are. Um, yeah. And, what was I about to say? Oh, the adjustment. The adjusting, um, you use this one, the bigger Allen wrench. And you put it right in the hole that says up. I can make it. And you just stick it in. Like, you can't do it like this because it'll end up bumping that. So, just stick it in like the top way. Like that. And then twist it this way if you want the sight to go up. On this side, you have right. Stick it in and move it this way, and your sight will start moving to the right. Uh, so that's about it for these two reviews. Um, I'm like I won't be reviewing. I thought I was gonna be reviewing a KWA Glock 18. Uh, some of you may not know they discontinued them about a long time ago. So I can't really get them anywhere, and nobody's willing to sell them theirs to me. Um, so look, I'll have a KWA M9, KW or KJW M9, or the HFC M190. So that's it.